How many guys are you dating at any one time? One, two, three, more? Well, do you know what? If you've been following me for a while, I always suggest you should triple date. Now, I'm not talking about threesomes, but maybe that's something you want to do in your own personal or private life. <laughs> but I am talking about dating more than one guy at the same time. Look, let's say you're online dating, most likely you are. If you're over 30 or even younger than that, guaranteed if you're looking for a relationship or other things, um, you would have done online dating. But you really don't know who someone is. This is one key reason why I say you should at least see more than one guy at the same time. I know, guaranteed, I bet you've experienced this, right? When you've met up with a guy, he said, yeah, I really enjoy the date with you. I'll call you. Nothing. <laughs> you hear nothing from him after that point, right? You've been ghosted. He's disappeared. And you feel gutted about that. This is what I'm talking about. You really don't know who someone is. If you haven't met this guy within your social circle, if he's not a friend of a friend, for example, or uh, you know your friend's brother or a work colleague, that means you really don't know much about him. There's no, there's no way you can gauge who he really is. Anyone can be anyone on online dating. So when you're triple dating, you know, going out with one guy and another guy and a different guy, not just for free dinner, <laughs> not just to have something to do. I'm talking to you women who actually want to be in a relationship and I want you to find, attract and keep your Mr. Right in the shortest time possible. That's why I do my coaching program, Attract and Keep Mr. Right in less than 99 days. Just like it happened with one of my clients. She actually met her guy, her name is Joanne, within 80 days it was. Six months down the line, he's actually proposed to her and they're getting married at the end of the year. This is genuine, this can really happen. When you follow these simple principles, just like that, you can be in a relationship. And so when you date in this way, it can speed up that process. Why? There are quite a few reasons actually. One, he will know that you're not so available. Now this isn't playing hard to get. This is about you really being honest and saying, well, I want to be with a guy who wants to be with me too. I want to be with a guy who's relationship ready. I'm going to bring up that term in another video and explain what that means. So let's say you're dating a guy and you really like him and he says that he really likes you and you start to think, gosh, I would really want something more from him. But, you know, maybe he's not 100% sure or he said he's busy right now or he's building up his career. So you hear from him on occasions, not consistently or not every day. You know what, that's okay. But you go out on another date with another guy. Do you know what, even on a date, if he's asking you about other guys, you can say, well, you know, I'm looking to be in a relationship and we've met online, of course I've been on dates before, and until I meet someone who wants what I want, I'm just gonna date. And that's a win-win situation. Why? Because you're being clear, very open and honest with him. He knows exactly where he stands. And you're feeling like a powerful woman, which I know that you are, defining things in your way, on your terms, being clear about it, and actually putting out there to the world, to the universe, of what you're really looking for. Let me tell you this quick story of one of my clients, actually, how, how fantastic this actually works when she was following these principles of dating until she met her Mr. Right. She was actually out on a dinner date one evening. When she was walking to go to the loo, she looked in the corner of her eye and she saw one guy and she recognised him and she recognised him from Tinder where they'd been talking to each other, but they actually hadn't met on a date. Guess what happened next? He saw that she was on a date with another guy and he felt sick. He knew in that moment, if he didn't do something about it, she could be just gone. So before she got back to the date, he stopped her and he said, do you, you know, do you know who I am? We've been messaging each other. She goes, well, yeah. And 
I really want to go out on a date with you. He took action. He knew if he didn't do something about it, she could be gone. And you know what's happened? They did go out on a date and four months later, they're still together and they're planning to move in together and they're talking about starting a family. So this is what I'm talking about. It's okay if he doesn't want to spend much time with you. It's okay if he wants to date other girls. It doesn't matter because you're being clear, open, honest and upfront. You can date other guys too. There is absolutely no point whatsoever you taking yourself off the market if this guy, he said he's not ready to be in a relationship with you. And then he will see actually, if I don't step up, you know, like that example of that story that I just gave you, he will know if I don't step up, if I don't declare how I feel about her, if I don't take some action to let her know how I feel about her, if I don't do something to get her away from all those other guys, I'm going to lose her. And this is what happens. He has to make a decision. You're Mr. Right, because a lot of you ask me, who is Mr. Right? Who is he? Where is he? But there's one thing you should know. Your Mr. Right has to be the guy who wants to be with you. End of story. Your Mr. Right is not the guy who's with other women, right? So it's really, really simple equation. So he will have a decision to make. If he doesn't choose you, that's great. You will know, well, he just wasn't my guy, but you're still open, you're still ready, you're still making yourself available to meet your Mr. Right. You'll end up feeling good about yourself because if you really like a guy and you're kind of, you might feel a bit addicted to him, a bit hooked on him. Do you know what? Triple dating, double dating helps that lessen that pressure because it makes you feel as if you have other options. When you feel as if your options are closed down, you start to become desperate. You start to feel needy and guess what? Desperation and neediness are not attractive. You know, that's going to be the quickest way that he's going to run. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to draw him close. I want you to attract him to you. And also desperation and neediness means you make poor choices because you feel desperate. You think, if I don't do something, if I don't get him, then you're going to lose. And we always want what's not available. It becomes more attractive, doesn't it? But I want you to be a woman who's just comfortable in her own skin, who's really relaxed, who enjoys her life and really trusts that you are going to meet your Mr. Right. If you follow this principle, keep your options open and only commit to the man who commits to you, then you're in a win-win situation. So I've got lots of great videos on my channel. Love it that you're following me. Keep on watching for more great videos. But for now, I wish you well and I want you to find love and stay in love.